this creative friend! Welcome to my art channel today! I am so happy you are here! I am Tamara Laporte from Willeming Arts and I am a mixed media artist, teacher and author and today I am back with another episode of Finish a Journal. I am excited to have reached episode 7 and I cannot wait to share it with you. For those of you who are new to Finish a Journal, this is a series I started to motivate myself to, you guessed it, finish a few of my art journals. I have many, 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 many art journals spanning over many, many, many years. I love art journaling. However, I am notorious for not finishing my journals. I often leave pages half done or just with a sketch of something unfinished. So a while ago, I thought it might be fun to try and finish some of my journals, and that is how this series came to be. If you haven't seen any of the other episodes yet, do check them out on my YouTube channel. They're all there. So, I'm excited to jump right in, but before we begin, I just wanted to let you know that I am about to launch the Lifebook 2022 Taster Sessions at the end of this September, and I'd love for you to join us! This event is all about how creativity can help your well-being and make you happy, and it is completely free. You'll have the opportunity to spend two weeks in glorious creativity with myself and 30 other teachers. So if this sounds like something you'd love to do, then please join us. The links are in this description and below as usual. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video today. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And if you love it, please remember to like and subscribe. I appreciate you for being here. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Enjoy! Bye! Hey everyone! Hello! Welcome back to Finish a Journal, Finish an Art Journal. It's been a while, it's been a while. Um, <laughs> I will have already explained in the pre-bit pre that this time of year, really from about June and July onwards, it gets really busy, busy, busy in my business and I get very little time for doing fun things for YouTube, which is sad, but I'm here now. I will have to adjust my camera a little bit. I need it to be a little bit more like this, but I'll do that in just a second. I'm here now and I'm excited to do another episode of Finish a Journal. Anyway, let's talk about what I've been doing in my art journals. Oh my goodness, have I been doing anything you ask? And I don't know <laughs> if I have since. Yes, I have. Um, but since I last did a Finish your Art Journal, I have. But guess what? I have to admit something that I wasn't going to do. Check it out. For those of you who followed this series, and it should be episode 7, you may recall that I had two journals that I was trying to fill and check it out it is three <laughs> now and the reason it is three now is because a very 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 kind student and follower of mine um, heard about my terrible sadness that these journals were no, have, are no longer being produced and so she kindly sent me one of hers that she actually bought from me at first. It was such a kind gesture. Gesture was by Zandra. She sent it to me and I'm eternally grateful because it means that I have a new, <laughs> another journal to fill. Now, and I've been kind of slightly berating myself because I keep thinking, no, no, I need to fill, fill these journals up. But you probably relate to how attractive a new journal and clean white pages are, or yellowy pages. Um, so I have been working in this one and in my small journal. So for those of you who are new to my channel, I um, work in a lot of journals, but um, I also have smaller ones. And some of these are dedicated to abstract art. So these are my, this is my abstract journal, one of my abstract journals, um, this kind of work. And then I also have um, one that, where this is my, kind of my travel art journals that I take with me on holiday when I go away. And it's sort of, this sort of these sorts of little faces that I tend to do in their little quirky birds, this sort of stuff. And then here's another art journal, uh, which is also an abstract one that I've been working in that I like a lot. So I have been working. So the answer to the question is, has Tam done any artwork in her journals? Is yes. However, 
I haven't really done any in these, in these two that I intended to fill up. So I'm going to go and do a quick flip through for those of you who are interested. If not, you can skip through the flip through to the art part of the session today. But um, it might be interesting to see where I'm at. So I think when I started this series, these pages were all already done. And the challenge is for me to fill a journal fully with pages that I particularly like, you know, like to a point where I like it. And this this book is actually pretty full with stuff that I like. I'm, I mean, all of this I would keep as is, I think. But for instance, these two pages feel uh, completely unfinished. And the little zoomy zoom. There we go. This is totally unfinished. This is totally unfinished. This is finished. Here's a page that is blank that I can work on. This is finished. This is finished. <laughs> This I don't like so much. And I set myself the challenge, this is not really finished this side, I set myself the challenge to finish the pages to a point that I like. And it's really difficult to motivate myself to come back to something like this. When I've lost connection to it, it's really hard to come back to it and kind of like try to finish it. I don't, this one, to, I don't like this and this is not a face I'm connecting with. Now what I can do is basically use gesso and just create new blank pages of course. But gesso, I don't really like working on top of gesso with watercolor that much. And I'm currently really into doing watercolor, so that's why I'm hesitant about the kind of couple of pages. But this book is pretty good, I must say. Like, it's fairly full with most pages that I like. But again, this is not finished. This it doesn't feel finished. This is finished. This is not finished. This is not finished. 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 Love these two. I've done these for Finish a Journal. I filmed these. One or two. Love this. Not finished. Sort of finished, but not really. And finished. So I haven't done anything since I last did the um, Draw This In Your Style Challenge, which, by the way, I'm going to do today as well, but I'll talk to you about that in a second. And then this was my other journal that I'm trying to finish. <laughs> I'm going to just flip through it, finished, finished. This is what I did last for the last session. Really loved how that came out. Not finished, finished, kind of finished. Could be doing, could do something with it. It's finished. Eh, could do something here, but that's all finished. Here, I applied a layer of watercolor gesso, which is kind of interesting. Uh, or is it normal gesso? I can't remember. I think it was watercolor grind ground, grind. I wanted to see how that um, works, but then I got completely uninterested in this. <laughs> it's so hard to come back to it when you've lost interest. I don't know if you relate. Right, the, this is obviously this, these are all these faces that are mid-sketch and then I don't, lo again, lose interest or don't like what I've done and then I move on rather than rubbing it out. I do sometimes rub out my sketches a couple of times, but if I can't kind of create something that I like within maybe an hour. I, I, the page almost gets lost to me. But I, I, I still feel, again, inspired and, uh, to try. But today I'm probably going to use my new journal. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, so here, this I could have another little cute animal of some sorts. Empty pages. These are okay. Don't really like that face. This is kind of cool. I did that one for finish a journal. These are cool. Done. Love this. Love this. Love these. You see, so I've got lots of pages that are done. Love these. Kind of, I love this, but not, not super big fan of the giraffe. It's right. Now here's a clean page I could work on, but I don't like this face. You know what happens to me? I'm working on this page. I get distracted by the face that I don't like. So I avoid working on that one as well. Weird, isn't it? It's all just strange. And here, tiny crooked bird, unfinished, and a smudge there. Huh, frustrating. Love these two pages. Where does it go well together? I like this one a lot. This one, meh. This is right, but then, uh, you know, and then it's so, it's hard to come to a page like this and think, how am I gonna fix it or do something with it? And then I am so much more inspired by a completely blank page. <laughs> and then these, and then this. So these are all kind of, this is not quite finished. But you see, it's funny because you just, I just end up with a kind of a mix of pages. So this is like a perfect spread to me. And then this is half a good spread, you know, like so. And then some of them are completely something I don't want. This, I love these, these two sisters. Very nice. 
So anyway, so that's where I'm at. I haven't worked in the, either one of these two. <laughs> I feel bad about it, but hey. Now, what I have done... <laughs> Ta-da! I've worked in my new journal, <laughs> which again, I shouldn't have done. Well, I, you know, and it's, and, and, but now I said I'm going to set myself to also finish that one as much as I can. So I have three, which, you know, it's a lot, but... So, um, so I was, I told you just now, um, she gave, Sandra gave her, her journal to me, which is the most, the biggest gift you can give me at this point, if you have one of these and give them to me, it's like, oh my god. So, first page in this, I did this on holiday at some point, really like her, I'm like a floral, this was based on my sort of she, she blooms in ink, uh, style. And then I did this, which is based on Elliot, my son, <laughs> his hairstyle at least. And I don't really like this page, so I'm already annoyed with the second page. What? But it's okay, but it's... Mm -hmm. Then I did this. No. Then I did this. I like the sketch, but didn't continue with it. Then I did this. Smeh. Not so happy with the, the face that I sketched there. Then I did this. Loved it. Oh my god, love it so much. Then I did this. Love it. <laughs> Weird quirky faces with strange abstract combo. Yes, please. Then I did something there and I rubbed it out. Didn't like it. Now there's a, there's lines there that I can't rub out and I'm annoyed with this page. Here, I sketched, I sketched this. Quite liked it, but wasn't that inspired. Left it. Again, drew something, rubbed it out. Didn't like it. Then, wow, love this. <laughs> this keeps happening to me. Where, you know, I sketch and I'm annoyed and it doesn't quite work and I blah 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 and then it works. So it's interesting maybe for you to see how that works. I love this, this I called her the Dark Fairy. So for my filler journal today, what I want to do is I want to do another draw this in your own style um, thing. So I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with this, but if you go on Instagram and you search for the tag DT DTIYS you will find loads and loads and loads of images of people who have either done a draw this in your style or are offering their image up to be drawn in your style. For instance, this one, it says draw this in your style by com underscore underscore illust. Uh, illustrator. So they are inviting people to draw, the, draw, to draw or paint their drawing in your own style. And I really like this one. Actually, I have um, screenshotted this one. So once in a while, I like to go through the images that they're on offer and see if there's one that inspires me to draw it in my style. I have chosen this image here. Look how beautiful this image is by someone called CHWYS underscore art. I think this is a lovely, beautiful image and I would love to do it in my style. And the reason why basically I want to go in just this journal is because she... The face has so much hair and flowers to the left and the right of her that I wanted a bit more space. And if I was going to do it in a single... So what I wanted to do is kind of like do her face here or something. And then a lot of hair that way and that way. So I wanted to basically have a bit more space. Or I could obviously make it super small and also include her body. But then it's just a smaller drawing. So I love the idea of doing it slightly bigger and spread out over double, uh, double spread. And that was my my thinking. So I'm going to do this, draw in your, draw this in your style challenge by chwys underscore art and I hope you enjoy it and if you also do um, an image inspired by this, the way it works is you would um, upload your image and this image as your, and as the second screen in, you know, in um, Instagram you can do what they call them galleries and then you tag the lady, uh, the person, the artist in your comments and that's how we do it. It would be nice to see if you also did it. I would love to see your versions. It's really interesting how I love doing it and seeing how everyone's own style comes through even though you're looking at someone else's work. So I hope you enjoyed this session and if you enjoyed it, please do come and follow me in all the places. I love hanging out on Instagram. I am at Willowing on Instagram. And uh, I, I also run art classes on www.willowing.org. And don't forget to join us on the Lifebook Taster event, the Taster Sessions, where you'll have 30 plus free lessons, or bonus lessons, kind of like Taster lessons, 
that will give you a good um, taster of what Lifebook 2022 will be about. And I, of course, hope you'll join Lifebook 2022 soon as well. But for now, enjoy this and I hope to see you around. You find all my links in the in the in the thingy below. <laughs> oh yeah, and please subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Bye.